go. What's up, Hall of Famers on YouTube? My name is Card Shop Eric, and I am currently coming to you live from Hall of Fame Baseball Cards in Arcadia, California. We are kicking off yet another episode of Personal Breaks. It is Wednesday, January 6th, and without any further ado, let me introduce you to the host of tonight's show, Mr. Hot Hands, Brandon Fletcher. Everybody say what's up to Mr. Hot Hands, Fletcher. All right. Thank you, Rod. Yes. Yes! Good afternoon. What's up, folks? That was more of an end, wasn't it? Not a Rod. Yeah, it was more Rod. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Good afternoon, folks. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you're all doing well on a Wednesday. See you all popping in. And we're going to get going here in just a couple of minutes. We got a... Uh, a brand new product for you guys to get into tonight, Elite Extra Baseball. And Baldridge has got a box of that to start, so we're going to get kind of a preview together of what these look like. We got that for you on hand, and uh, plenty of that on deck. Some more Heritage High number for you. You've got a whole list of items you could possibly get to. Some of that more of that Topps Chrome Stadium Club at 149 We got some pre-sale pre items for you, including pre-sales on, on 2021 Series 1 Baseball, Series 1 Hobby at 129 Series 1 HTA Jumbos at 249 Get those pre-sales right now. That should be a pretty hot product as it comes out in just a couple of weeks. Some really good rookies in this year's flagship series. And get those pre-sales right now at those listed prices. Mystery raffle like we did on Monday. Going to be based on tonight's participation. And don't forget if you... Uh, for all the personal break items you purchase, every $100 that your order is, you get a spot in the raffle. It's per order. Raffle spots are awarded per order, not cumulative payments throughout the night, but they are awarded per order. Don't forget about that as we uh, get going here. So if your order is uh, $150, you'll get one spot. And then if you order again for $150, you will get one additional spot. Okay, so it's not cumulative. It is per order basis for those raffle spots. And you'll be entered into the mystery raffle tonight. We'll announce what that what that item is at the end of the night. So we're here on a Wednesday for you to have a little fun. Let's get, get into those personal break products and let's rip some hot stuff for you tonight as we get going here on Wednesday, January 6th. Hopefully you're all doing well. All right, enough talking, more ripping. Let's go. Here is Mr. Baldridge. Elite Extra Edition Baseball. What are we going to get in this box? Let's see. We're going to get eight autographs and two memorabilia cards in this box. You get five cards per pack, five packs per box. Pop it open like that. And it's packaged actually quite nicely. See, if you see, Panini, this is how you package a box right here. You don't have any of that weird insert. Packaging is just a nice little cubby right there. Here we go. Let's see what we got going on here. We got these look kind of nice. You got P. Crow Armstrong to $9.99. Mac Wainwright. Kind of on a chrome. This is more of a foil. This is kind of a, a chrome. We've got a die cut autograph of Trey Cruz. That is eight of twenty four. Eight of twenty four. Little die cut autograph of Trey Cruz. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Trey Cruz out of Detroit. We're going to his uh, rice uniform. And how about a Nick Gonzalez Elite Extra Edition autograph? Nick Gonzalez. This one doesn't look like it's numbered. Nick Gonzalez. So two autographs in the first pack. And we got a Tanner Murray out of 249 to start. Right off the bat, it's some pretty nice looking stuff. We got these boxes at 129. You're gonna get 10 hits. 129, including exclusive Dominican Prospect League on-card autographs as well. 
Look for prospect memorabilia and autographs. Exclusive Dominicans. So there you go. A lot of nice stuff in this Elite Extra Edition. And uh, what's going on, everybody? Starting to starting to pop into the room. How you guys all doing? We got Daniel Rojas. That's out of $9.99. Looks like that first card might be out of $9.99. Here's a gold Kevin Hildago. That is 11 of 24. 11 of 24. The man behind me is the soup du jour today. What's up, Soup? Hi. We got Anthony Walters, Elite Extra Edition. Soup's in the house. Mr. Soup. So you got Anthony Walters there. And here's your first kind of relic. Well, that's cool. Out of 149, Daniel Rojas from the Dominican Prospect League. A little DPL relic. Auto right there. That's really nice. Daniel Rojas, 88 at 149. And a little, you got a uh, laser parallel or a diamond parallel. Nice little, nice laser work on there. 199, Connor Phillips. You can see the uh, laser action on that. Makes a diamond. Really nice looking card there. Let's go on to pack number three. This box is for Baldridge. We've got these at 129 a box, folks. You're going to get 10 hits out of this box. Vidal Brujan out of 9.99. Here's a die cut out of 28. 28 of 28. Franmi De Leon out of the Dominican Prospect League. Franmi De Leon. Here's an Austin Hendrick USA Relic, USA Material. One of your 10 hits in this box. It's a plain relic. Still looking like a nice card. We have Hidden Gems, Jackson Kloof. Hidden Gems, Jackson Kloof, unnumbered. And Dylan McLean at a four ninety nine on a green parallel. All right, three packs down, two more to go. Really nice looking stuff from Elite Extra Edition. We got these at one twenty nine a box, folks. Jump on them; they are fun. You get ten hits for one twenty nine, plus a lot of other. And you get numbered parallels, some die cuts. How about Carson Tucker out of $9.99? So we got a Chrome Roberto Campos, like an optic. And here's Roberto Campos again out of 200. Yes, Brandon. We are only doing local pickup only. The brick and mortar is closed to in to uh, foot traffic. We are doing local pickup only from 10 to 2. Elvis is in the building. Elvis Rojas, that is, out of 150. Elvis Rojas out of 150. And Maximo Acosta, another diamond laser parallel out of 190. I like the uh, laser diamond action on this. There you go. One more box or one more pack here to go. I should be jumping in on this all night. This is some really good looking stuff. I like this a lot. Jack Bloomgren out of $9.99. We got Nick Sweeney out of $9.99. A, little, a die cut. Decade die cut. Says that right there. Decade die cut. Prospect Materials. Nick Madrigal. It was the starting second baseman for the White Sox for a little bit last year. Nick Madrigal. Hidden Gems. Juan Aden. Juan Aden. Aden. 
Joan Adden from Washington, whatever, however you want to pronounce his name. Not numbered. What's up, Herman? How you doing? Good to see Herman up in here. Our buddy from Norway. And here's Carson Taylor out of 499. So there you go. There is your Elite Extra Edition. See some some really nice looking stuff. Let's check out the 10 hits of this box. You got the Don Auto, Prospect Materials, Nick Madrigal, Elvis Rojas out of 190, Roberto Campos out of 200, Jackson Kloof. We got the Hendrick USA Relic. The Daniel Rojas D Dominican Prospect League out of 149. Anthony Walters. Nice Nick Gonzalez auto. And this die cut auto, Trey Cruz, 8 of 24. Gold. There is Baldridge. There's your Elite Extra Edition. That's pretty cool. We got these boxes at 129 a box. Great buy for 10 hits on average. 10 hits on average. Who else is going to jump on in tonight? Let's jump in on more of those Elite Extra Editions. At 129 a box, we still have some Holocron, Star Wars Holocron. We got Bowman's Best now at 249. Bowman's Best at 249. Remember when those were like 200 bucks a box? I do. Told you to jump on those. Now they're 249. <laughs> Top Stadium Club Chrome at 149. We can be ripping all of that. That would be great to rip. What's up, everybody? Jumping in. I do. I do because I told you to jump in on that Bowman's Best when it was 209. I do. Jump in on that. Even hey, Bowman's Best at 249 is still a great purchase. Still a lot of great value in that product at 249. <laughs> Yep, heritage hot heritage high number at hundred bucks a box. We're still ripping it at hundred bucks a box. Heritage high number. If you want to jump in on some of that too, not do not mind ripping that. Anything that you want to get into tonight, let's go. Let's go. Who wants to jump in? We got to get some product on the table, folks. Do I, am I going to be taking an early break? Is that what's going to happen here? Shop is dropping some links to products. Take a little sip here. I got a little hiccup. Shop's dropping links to products. Go to personal breaks. Make sure you do order a personal break item. If you order it for regular shipping, then we're just going to ship it regularly to you. It won't be broken here on personal breaks, nor does it qualify for the raffle. Uh, I have to check on that, Chris. What's up, Chris T? Breakthrough odds. He's been breaking through a ton of odds here the last couple of times. What are you guys going to jump into tonight? While uh, we're waiting for you guys to jump on in, it looks like I'm going to take an early break. Super early. But get go to uh, hofbc.com and get on. Might have something. Hold on. Might have something. All right, hold on. Just got notification from the back. Something might be happening. Yeah, got something. All right, we got something to do here. Right on. I did not want to have to. I did not want to get up out of the chair right now. Too early for that. Way too early for that. All right, Ryan K says he just grabbed a box of Elite Extra. Right on, Ryan. Good job, Ryan K. I'm telling you, listen to when I tell you. You should be jumping in on stuff because if if I believe you should be living, you should be jumping in on a certain product. I'm definitely going to tell you. And Elite Extra Edition is a great uh, is a great buy right now. Ten hits for one twenty nine. Come on, some good looking stuff too. I don't believe I've been using the last three digits of the number, right? Yeah, I had to put the first two digits on that one. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> All right, Ryan, here we go. Ryan K got some Elite Extra Edition. Yeah, good call on that one. You can't bring me that. You can't bring me that sticker. No. no. I used to have a friend that would go th that if he went through the drive-thru and that number came up, he'd order something extra. <laughs> What's up, Pan Kizzle? Yeah, you did pretty well on Monday. You did pretty well on Monday for sure. All right, Ryan K., let's see what's in your box of Elite Extra Edition. Let's see what we can do for you. We've got Juan Beto out of $9.99. Cole Henry out of $9.99. We've got Baron Radcliffe on a Contenders. 
It's a cool insert. Georgia Institute of Technology. That's Georgia Tech, if you didn't know. That's a cool insert. First hit here is a Daniel Cabrera auto out of 199. Or, I'm sorry, 196. All right, I guess this is what they're going to do. They're going to have different numbers. Daniel Cabrera out of 196. Cameron Lozinski, Elite Extra Edition Auto. Seen a lot of his autos come out of the different draft products. And Milan Tolentino out of 499. What's up, Owen? Owen says, What's up? Hey, what's going on? Here we go. Second pack for you, Ryan Shea Whitcomb out of 9.99. Dylan Dingler, seen a lot of his stuff too, out of 9.99. Stevie Emanuel's out of 9.99. Prospect Materials Wonder Franco out of 1.99. It does seem like every card is numbered right now, which is good. I think in a product like this, that's actually what it should be. 100, 190 out of 199 on the Wander Franco. And how about a die cut auto out of 10? 10 of 10. Die cut auto of Keithron Moss. Keithron Moss. Keithron. Not Keith, not Ron. Keithron Moss. Die cut auto gold out of 10. 10 of 10 on that one. And you got Brandon Fat out of 249. Yeah, the, the Elite, you're going to get some names you probably haven't seen before. It's usually pretty typical of Elite. Juan Beto out of 499. Schuster out of 999. Yandri Vargas out of the Dominican Prospect League. That's out of 999. Ian Feed Me Seymour out of 61. That's right. 61 on uh, Ian Seymour. With a little Shop of Horrors reference, if you didn't know. And how about a Tristan Lutch? Lutz Future Thread Signatures 29 of 99 on the Relic Auto there. Seems like one relic auto per box. Tristan Lutz. I'm interested to see what the uh, the hoops product is going to be. I mean, I like basketball product. We'll see how that's going to be. This rookie class is interesting. Zach Daniels triple nine, Vukovic triple nine. Oh, Chrome Dax. Dax Fulton. We got Marco Rea out of 149. And you've got Trevor Halver, Elite Extra Edition Auto. Trevor Halver. And Felix Coates out of the DPL. Felix Coates. And last pack here, Ryan. Who's going to jump in after Ryan? Lines wide open. You get ripped right now, basically. If you jump in after Ryan, you got Detmers out of triple nine. Ooh, Brady Lindsay die cut out of eight. Four of eight. Brady Lindsay die cut out of eight. Sometimes these die cuts are hard to sleeve. Brady Lindsley out of eight. Four of eight there. That's a nice one. Here's Dalton Varsho prospect materials. Sorry, I can't turn the volume down any lower. <laughs> and you've got William Holmes out of 25. Hidden gems. It's like a like a red blue parallel. William Holmes. 
Yeah, definitely some low number cards for you. Uh, Ryan K and Mason Wynn on the laser out of 180. Very nice. So there you go, Ryan. Some really nice, nice stuff for you here. The Holmes out of 25, Varsho Relic, the Lindsley out of 8. Kind of a non-autograph hit there with a low number. Felix Coates, however, Lutz out of 25. Suddenly, Ian Seymour out of 61. Moss out of 10. Wander out of 199. Lazinski and Cabrera. Very cool. Again, Elite Extra Edition, only 129 a box. Like half the cards are hits. Why wouldn't you go here and get yourself some Elite Extra Edition baseball for 129 a box? Really nice looking cards there. You got it, Ryan. Thanks for jumping in. And you got yourself a raffle spot for the mystery raffle tonight. Peter B. Peter B. All right, Peter. Hey, Peter. What's happening? Did you happen to put the, uh, did you happen to get the memo? About the, uh, and we're putting the new cover sheets on the TPS reports. Check out your pack here. You got Pete Alonzo, Jalen Davis, rookie, and Justin Dunn Green out of 99. What's up? What's going on, Pete? Pete, Pete's in the chat. How you doing, Pete? Glad you're jumping in. You got Justin Dunn here on the green. Let's see what your auto is. Your autograph. It's going to be out of 150, and it's a Brave. Atlanta. Some of you staring intensely at you. It is Mike Soroka. Mike Soroka is your autograph out of 150. Mike Soroka. Not a bad auto to hit. Nice, nice uh, top of the, top of the rotation brace pitcher there. Top of the rotation to you. Thanks, Pete. Good looking up auto on the black there. Here's Wayne. Wayne P got himself an Elite Extra Edition. I think this is going to fly off the shelves tonight. Bless you. Oh, you got your uh, you got you got a uh, order from us today, uh, Herman. <coughs> Now, oh, you got one of the. Did you get one of the jockey eight by tens? Nice. You got it, Pete. Thanks for the. Thanks for jumping in. Got yourself a raffle spot. And so did Wayne. Jeremy Wu Yelland, triple nine. Warner Blakely. Jake Etter. At a two twenty. Is your first auto. I like that there are ten hits in here. A lot of interesting stuff coming out of these. We're gonna come out of these boxes. Am Bioris Tavares from the DPL on card auto here. Not numbered on the Tavares. And out of two forty nine, Eric Orzi. Here's your first pack. Check out your second pack here. Check out your back card. It's Orange Blakely out of 149. Vukovic, triple nine. Die cut Zach Daniels out of triple nine. Left handed pitcher out of 149, Asa Lacey. He was a high draft pick this year. Relic card, USA Relic. Asa Lacey. And your die cut auto here is Aaron Brocco out of 25, or I'm sorry, 26, excuse me. Aaron Brocco. Aaron Brocco. Not bad. You got two jockey autos, all right. I only remember one of those, Herman. Colton Keith, laser out of 199. 
Detmers Triple Nine, Markavian Hentz Elite Extra Edition, and how about a die cut auto of Cade Meckles out of 49? McCalls. Cade McCalls out of 49. And Zach Veen Elite Extra Edition auto. Top draft pick this year. He was a top 10 pick. Zach Veen. This is a new product, Herman. Elite Extra Edition. Just dropped today. A lot of prospects. A lot of minor league players. They uh, usually feature maybe an international league. Um, this year is the Dominican Prospect League. Luke Little, 499. Brito, triple nine. We've got Ben Hernandez out of 36 on the die cut. Nope, it's 38. Those sixes and eights are sometimes hard to read. We've got R.J. Dabovich. Dab on it. R.J. Dabovich. And how about Rainier Vargas out of the DPL Relic Auto out of 199? A little chip in that corner. Thanks, Panini. But Rainier Vargas at a 199. Yeah, we got these boxes for a hundred 129 a box, folks. You get 10 hits. Plus some uh, number a lot of serial numbered cards. A lot of numbered cards in these. So you got Maximino Acosta out of 61. Like this one. This one, the laser has got like a little starburst to it. It's like a when you uh, look through the kaleidoscope. Look at that action right there. Starts off with that X, and it goes, and it bursts, and it comes over here. Okay, I'm having way too much fun with this card. Yep, yeah, I've been trying to trying to move that, too. Uh, Cole Henry out of triple nine. Schuster die cut out of triple nine. We got a USA Relic Alex Bohm, or Baum. Alec Baum. Bomb, bro. And we've got Lindsley at a 221. Thing about Elite Extra, thing about Elite 2 is that the numbering is very weird. I don't know how they came up with a arbitrary number like 221 for Lindsley, but there you go. There is your box, Wayne. Cool. You got Lindsley, you got the bomb relic, you got Vargas on the on the relic auto, Dabovich, Zach Veen, it's a good one. Cade McCalls or Michaels, Brocco. You've got Lacey on a Relic, Tavares, and Jake Etter. I think you got some cool stuff in that. Thank you for jumping in on one of those Elite boxes. And Mr. Neclay. Dan Neclay, what's up, Dan? We're going to do some Heritage High Number. Heritage High Number for Dan Neclay. What's going on with everybody? Where, where's everybody at? Let's do some locations. Location shout outs. Where's everybody where's everybody watching in from today? We know Bubble Pugs in Wisconsin. We know where no Herman is. He's in Norway. Where's everybody else at? We're right here in Arcadia, California. Where's everybody else at? ATL. Chris T's in the ATL. Hot Lana. Oh, and I think we might have a hot box. James R from Maine, Air Alaska, and Minnesota. Minnesota. I think we got a hot box. Because here's a purple chrome of Jose Abreu. And normally these become hot boxes. BC Collectibles of British Columbia. Oh, Canada. It's up to our neighbors north of the border. All right, we're going to have a lot of fun with this box for the clay because it's a hot box. It is a hot box. Purple pair, purple chrome in each box in this one. Luis Robert, base. And how about Emilio Pagan? Purple. These purples are unnumbered, but they do add a little bit of personality to this box. You're going to get a purple in each pack. means we have something to look forward to. 
Ernie Banks. Mookie there, Chad Wallach, and a Corey Kluber. Purple. Herman's a Cubs fan, so he's like the wrong side of Chicago. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Tim, apparently all of them. Apparently all of them, Tim. What's up? Daza, how about Rick Porcello, Purple Chrome? How are we doing, Tim? Hopefully you're well. Chris T with his, uh, we got a Bowman Chrome HTA coming through for Chris T. Going to try to, going to try to beat the odds yet again. Award winners Rocco Baldelli. We got Kyle Garlic rookie purple. Robel Garcia, rookie there, Sutsugo. And your purple is Bringer of Rain, Josh Donaldson, former MVP. Wow, you see Tim? Yeah. <laughs> Tim coming in hot. hot. Yeah, Tim coming in hot. But that's Tim. and whoopies. Cheers. 2021, baby. There you go, James. Uh, Los Angeles Luminaries, Bellinger and Lux. And we got John Bertle. Rookie Purple. Willie Castro, Rookie. David Price and Jeremy Jeffress. Purple. No, we didn't open your uh, box topper. Let's do that right now. Forgot, forgot about that. Let's see what this is. Three homer game again. That's going to be Willie Stargell. There's your box topper, Willie Stargell. Yeah, I know, Jer Je I know Jeffress used to be a brewer. I remember that. Bubble Pug likes that. Strasburg Award winners. Yakiyama rookie. Rios rookie. Sheldon Noose rookie purple. World Series highlights. Pittsburgh's Robbie sets the... Tone in game for game five. Chase Fairbanks, Gratterall, and Hunter Pence. The newly retired Hunter Pence. One of my favorite guys of all time. Loved that guy. Even when he was in Houston and Philadelphia, I always had an appreciation for Hunter Pence. Dozier. Great O'Grady got another no no for Verlander and Quang Hung Kim rookie purple. Gotta like the Heritage hot boxes with the uh, purple chromes inside. Definitely a definitely a big time hit there. Jalen Davis, Mookie Betts. That's a pretty card. Purple chrome Mookie. Very nice. Garrett Stubbs, rookie. And Garrett Stubbs, rookie, purple chrome. Not bad. About halfway through the box. Through this hot box of Heritage High Number. The hot boxes in this product have purple chromes, one in each pack, and that's what we got here. Ryan McBroom. 
And Batflip King Tim Anderson and Randy Dobnak. Rookie Performers, Sutsugo. Tyrone Taylor. McLean and Yamaguchi. Shun Yamaguchi. We got Verlander Award winners. And Julio Tejeron Purple. Let's check out your last stack here. We got another one of those uh, World Series highlight cards. And we got Willie Castro. Rookie performers, Nico Horner, one for Herman, and Dellen Patances. Garrett Hampson, and Delano DeShield. That's the, uh, the son of the former MLB player Delano DeShields. <laughs> Rookie performers Dubon and Lance McCullers Jr. Donaldson, that's an action variation on the Donaldson. That's cool. And Jalen Davis, rookie purple. And an action variation, Donaldson. A couple more packs here. We got three more packs to go for Dan. We got Chris T's Bowman Chrome. And we got Jonathan Daza, rookie purple. So you got a, your hits here, so we're going to go with that. We got Akiyama, purple chrome, and Trevor Story, clubhouse collection. Trevor Story, little jersey swatch. Akiyama, rookie chrome. Last pack. Zavala. And Cole Calhoun purple. So there you go. There's your box to clay. Hot box. You got the story, the Donaldson. You got your Louis Robert base rookie. And then all of this purple. Yaki, few rookies, but check that out. Bunch of purple crumbs that you'll enjoy. Thank you, uh, thank you there, Nicolay. All right, Chris, here's your box of chrome. Here's your HTA. See what we got here. First card is Eric Pena. 
Yeah, no Ficky this time on the, on the HTA. Eric Pena. You've got a blue. Michael Harris out of one out of one fifty. Excuse me. Got a blue out of one fifty. Michael Harris. It's a nice looking card. And your last one is going to be Devin Mann, Dodger prospect. Devin Mann, base off. So there you go. First chromes of Pena and Michael Harris. And Devin Mann. So there you go, buddy. Thanks, Chris, for jumping in on some Chrome HTA. Who else is jumping in on some stuff, folks? That's it. Right now, nobody else in the lineup. Every hundred you every hundred that your order is, you get a spot in the raffle. We do it by order, not cumulative. So if your order is hundred dollars and you come back and spend one fifty, you're gonna get one for the first one and then one for the second one. But every hundred dollars that your order is, you will get a spot in the mystery raffle, which we will announce what that prize will be at the end of the evening. What's up, Josh? I'm good. How are you, sir? We got Elite Extra Edition at one twenty nine a box. We got Heritage High Number, which we just ripped. Maybe a chance to get a hot box of Heritage High Number. You get a purple chrome in each pack at ninety nine per box. Holocron, if you like doing some non-sports stuff and want to get into some Star Wars, we got Star Wars Holocron at 99 a box. Who wants to do some more Bowman's Best? I mean, that's been an incredible product. Chrome. Hey, incredible product, Bowman's Best. And Stadium Club Chrome at 150. Get two of them. Get three raffle spots. Get two boxes of Stadium Club Chrome. Get two autos. Get a bunch of nice Chrome Stadium Club cards and some refractors in there. How about some Stadium Club Chrome at 149 a box? Who else is going to jump on in and, and uh, get their products ripped tonight here on Personal Breaks? Sorry, I'm going to be taking a pause right now on Wednesday Night Personal Breaks to give you a chance to go to HOFBC.com. Jump in, Greg, check out the website, go to the Personal Breaks page. Use those links that shop's dropping right there. Go get yourself a box of Stadium Club Chrome. Go get yourself a box of Bowman's Best. Go get yourself some Elite Extra Edition. Or anything else that's on the website. Got a, Got a little something. Looks like I'm not getting up. Fantastic. I like it. I am. Oh, Tim says sit back down. All right. Got a little, uh, got a something for you. Yeah. Yeah. Tim says sit back down. So I didn't get up, Tim. So I can't sit back down if I never got up to begin with. <laughs> Tim is a. Uh, Tim is very on point with uh, what happens. You know, when Tim walks in, then it's time to pay attention. I was thinking it. Yeah, right, because I got nothing on the table, Tim. Of course I was thinking it. You got nothing on the table. So we'll see what uh, Tim jumped into right now. Just because the sticker is terrible. But nice box. Nice box. Terrible sticker. Nice box. Tim M. Got some National Treasures Baseball. Right on, Tim. Good job. All right, here we go. We're going to get into some great stuff right here. I love NT Baseball. I'm a big fan of, like, the Legends Relics and when they put, like, old jersey swatches and stuff in there. Big time fan of that. Uh, these boxes. The box itself, like, the actual box is terrible. It's, like, cardboard. It's not the wood box anymore, which I think is terrible. With the mini box inside, look how thick that thing is. You got some good. I think there's going to be some really, really nice stuff in here, Tim. All right, here we go. National Treasures Baseball. Wow, it is overflowing. Overflowing. <laughs> All right, here we go. First card. How about we got Gavin Lux out of 99? FBI's back in the house. All right. Federal oh, Bureau of Investigation. I think we only have one box of that left at that price. We won't, we may only have one box of this left, and I'm telling you, somebody should jump on this. It's I really enjoy National Treasures Baseball, it, the, even in the non-licensed stuff. 
eight relic card of Gavin Lux. We got a back card of Josh Donaldson to 25. Bat relic card of Josh Donaldson to 125 uh, to 25. Soup, what's up, man? Not much. Colossal. Xander Bogarts to 72. Okay, 72. That's the only uh, we're able to cut out 72 patches of his jersey. I guess if he was a bigger guy, they could have done more. Yeah, right. Yeah, 72 to Xander Bogarts. See, this is why I like National Treasures right there. Mule Suttles to five. Yeah. I love when they put the old relics in here of guys like this. Pablo Sandoval. Pablo Sandoval would have been a 199. <laughs> and I love Pablo. He's one of my favorite giants. Mule Suttles to five. It's one of the reasons I like an NT so much of baseball because of cards like that. Put that one to the side. This is a uh, Rico Garcia triple relic auto to 99. Ah, Thurman's just ragging on Soup. <laughs> Soup, you can respond to that. I am not. I'm just going to mm -hmm. block. Okay. We got Fight Finished. Trace Barrera, that's a World Series reference right there. Hashtag fight finish. It's a World Series reference for the Washington Nationals. Nice relic auto there to 49. Trace Barrera. Sick patch here of Dylan Cease to 10. Yep, 9 of 10. Nice patch. Yeah, right. <laughs> How much stuff I've seen of that guy. That's a cool patch. Yeah, one of the. Uh, this is where the yes, the socks are right here. Yeah, it's a sleeve patch right there where the white socks is. I like that. Kettle Marte to forty nine. Have to ask uh, Mr. Green about this guy too. Kettle Marte, 49. All right, let's check out the booklet. Come on, baby, be good. This I has got to like, be hid. I feel like. It's out of 25. Teammates. Oh, it oh, is. Yes. Oh, it is. Oh, yes. Oh, it is. Yeah. Timmy. Yeah. Eight. So you got Tatis, Nix, Paddock, Mejia, Munoz, Grisham, Morahone and Kinsler. Wow. That is nice. That's nice. Yeah, Padres are coming up. They're trying to make a run at it this year. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to be getting all the way, but they're going to probably get kind of close. That is awesome right there. 14 Teammates booklet, 14 of 25. Saw the first name. Was like, yep, that's going to be nice. Wow. One more box of that left at that price. Though. We've got one more box of NT Baseball at this price, folks. Get it while you still can. I'm telling you, NT Baseball is awesome. <laughs> nice hit, Tim. So you got that booklet. You also got the Mule Subtles out of five and the rest of the other stuff in there. Super nice stuff, Timmy. Congratulations. That was sick, man. That looks really nice. Who else is jumping in tonight, folks? Who else is going to jump on in? We just saw a great box of NT Baseball. Who, he's got something if he... Chef's got something if he can find it. That's awesome. Love that right there. We just got to find it. Let's see what's coming down the pipe. Boston Beast, what a time to tune in. Yeah, you picked the right time there, buddy. Ooh, all right. Joanne, hey, Joanne, what's up? A longtime collector, friend of Hall of Fame baseball cards. Joanne, got some museum collection right on. Good luck, Joanne. 
Another great product. Some awesome stuff in it. All right, four mini boxes. Here we go. Good luck, Joanne. What's up? There you are. Yeah, museum's got some fire for sure. Two nice products right now. You got Tim as the National Treasures and Joanne coming in with some museum. Great choices all around. Where's our hit? Gonna be right there. We got JD Martinez on the bronze. Ryan Sandberg. The Babe. Devers on a reproduction. Devers on the reproduction. Hmm. Too bad that's not signed. That's still pretty cool, though. Meaningful Materials Dual Relic of Vlad and Tatis out of 50. If you're going to get two relic swatches, that's a pretty good uh, place to be. Vlad and Tatis. Nice. Let's go to your second mini. one in here. Chipper Jones Bronze. Buster Posey. Lusardo Rookie. Springer. And how about a quad relic to 99 of J.D. Martinez. Quad relic of J.D. Martinez. Well, they play the same position, Herman, so there you go. Reese Hoskins purple to 99. Pete Alonzo, Rivera, Alomar, and to 199, archival autographs, Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco. Last mini. Working at the car wash. Yeah. I knew that wasn't going to last. Mm -hmm. Here's a Tatis blue to 150. Seems like Tatis is all over the shop right now. Steven Strasburg. Kyle Lewis rookie. Ooh, we have a second museum uh, canvas collection. It's Arenado. That's a nice Ooh, one. I like that. Yeah, that's a really nice one. And beer go bubble pug. Josh Hader dual patch out of the 25. I wonder where he's going to end up. Yeah. Josh Hader to 25. So there you go, Joanne. There's a Lewis rookie. He'll put that in sleep. Couple canvas collections out of there. Hopefully, I was hoping one of them would be an original. Lewis, Hader, Canseco, JD Martinez, and the dual Tatis Vlad. It's a fun boxing museum. Thank you, Joanne, as always. Tim M coming in with the mountain, the mountainous rips. Hey, Bubble Pug, check out the uh, link we just dropped. It's to a Robin Yount card that uh, that we have in here. I think you'll appreciate that. Another, uh, de not as thick as the last one, but uh, still pretty thicky here. They're like their stickers. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. All right, here we go. Here's Tim M with another, another NT. See what we got going on. Out of 99, Game Gear Materials, Alex Kirloff. K 
Kirilov to 99. The Wizard, 95 out of 99, Ozzy Smith. The Wizard, nice. Let's see a little Ozzy in here. Colossal Devers. You got his teammate Bogarts in the last one. So here's Colossal Devers. That's to 99. Raphael Devers. Don De Drysdale, Hall of Fame Materials, class of 84, 9 of 25. Don Drysdale. Dodger fans appreciate this card. Players Weekend, Isan Diaz, 68 and 99 on card autograph. Here is Patrick Sandoval, 24-25. Relic autograph. It's like a pant relic or a sleeve, maybe. 24-25, Patrick Sandoval. And how about a one-of-one -one Majestic logo, A.J. Puck. Yellow one of one. Yellow jersey. Yellow jersey. One of one. Majestic AJ Puck. That's cool. That is very cool. Rookie. Majestic logo auto. Here's a Whit Merrifield, eighteen to twenty. Wit Merrifield, 18 of 20. And lastly, booklet, 3 of 10, cut signature material. Oh, shop. Ready? Yep. Three and ten cut signature of Ricky Anderson. Tim A, do we do I get the pleasure of maybe doing another trade with you or that, that is so cool. That's fun. <laughs> you know how I roll, Tim. Let me know, buddy. Maybe we, uh what's tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, maybe I can talk I can call you tomorrow if you're interested in uh discussing. So there you go. We're gonna let that hang out for a moment. That's cool. Not a not a big fan of cut signatures of dudes who are still alive, but yeah, that is pretty sick. Yeah. That just, is still cool though. That is awesome. I like that right there. Don't play it up too much. I want to get a good price for it. <laughs> <laughs> cut signatures of dudes that are alive suck. But that that's a pretty nice cut sig there. And Ricky Henderson, nice big old bat relic. Pretty nice card there. Three three of ten. Don't listen to Herman. Yeah, don't don't ever <laughs> listen to Herman. Cool, man. Look at Tim, that. Tim says, call you tomorrow, we shall discuss. Yeah, call me tomorrow, we shall discuss. Right on, Tim. Good nice night, nice box, Tim. Got some pretty cool booklets out of that. Very, very nice. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Tim, for jumping in on those NTs. Who else is going to jump in? Saw a nice little run of National Treasures. With a uh, little meet of a uh, museum club there. Who's going to jump in after that? Who wants to jump in after that and get ripped? We got Elite Extra Edition at 129 Get some Heritage High Number at 100 bucks a box. That's pretty great. Holocron. We got Top Stadium Club Chrome at 149 a box, folks. I got something potentially coming here. All right. Hold on. We got something maybe coming. Because I'm rambling on tonight. 
Herman, are you ever wrong? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think you can answer your own. I think we're gonna, that that question is uh, rhetorical there. Um, mystery raffle tonight for every uh, hundred dollars that your order is. It's an order by order basis. So every order, if your order is a hundred dollars, you get a spot. If your order is two hundred dollars, you get a spot. If your order is three hundred dollars, you get the idea. Each hundred dollars you each hundred dollars you spend on your order gets you a spot in the raffle. Which is a mystery raffle, just based on the uh, level of participation that we get every evening. And we'll announce what that raffle item will be tonight at 7 p.m. Or near 7 p.m. Oh, excuse me, got a little hiccups. Soup's messing around with the phone ringer. Right on, Soup. Make yourself useful. For once. For once. We got a little something on its way. We're waiting here. Don't and uh, don't forget about the pre-sale items. Archive signatures, active 2021, 79 a box on the pre-sale. Series one hobby at 129. Series one HTA 249 ripped and shipped on the pre-sale. Get your pre-sales now, folks. That rookie class is going to be absolutely loaded for series one. I bet. Going to all those call-ups from last season that didn't get rookies in last year are going to have those Series 1 rookies. Guys like Adele, Bart, Carlson. Um, I know I'm missing a ton. Franco, I bet, has a rookie in there. So there's going to be a whole bunch of guys that got called up last year that are going to have rookies in that Series 1 for tops in 2021. And uh, we got Hobbies and, HT and HGA Jumbos on pre-sale. Don't forget about that either. But uh, lead extra edition at 129 is a great buy. Bowman's best. We still got some of that to rip. It's been a grab. It's been awesome. Let's rip that. Colin N with a Bowman HTA. Chrome. Bowman's Chrome HTA. Let's see what we got here. Mize Pache. Thank you, Charlie Rogers. I know there's a ton of them that are going to have rookies in that Series 1 set. So here we go. Ch Colin. Check out your Chrome HTA. They've got three thin cards there. Sixto Sanchez, finally. Kept seeing Sixto on uh, prospect cards for what seemed like forever. All right, first card is a Brewer. Max Lazar. Max Lazar, first Bowman. Got a blue, blue mojo of uh, Taylor Jones to 250. Or I'm sorry, 150. Taylor Jones, blue mojo to 150. And your last one, Aaron Andrew Dalquist. Sorry, Andrew Dalquist, first Bowman. Andrew Dalquist. So there you go. There is your HTA. You got the Jones 150, the Lazar, and the Dalquist. Thank you very much, Colin, for jumping in on that. Who else is going to get ripped tonight? Got some great stuff and always great prices here at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. And it's only 5 o'clock, folks. We got two more hours of ripping to do. Let's go. Jump in on some product every uh, $100 that your order is. You get our spot in the mystery raffle. Good Lord, really? Wow. Victor. Okay, we're going to do five boxes of museum soccer right now. Bringing it on some Bundesliga. Who wants to see Fletcher Butcher soccer names? Let's go. Five. Not one, not two, not three, not four. But we got five of these bad boys to rip right now for Victor. That we had this Bundesliga at a stupid low price, and finally somebody figured it out. Let's go. See what kind of fun stuff we got in here. Good job, Victor. Jumping on probably all of the Bundesliga we have. I believe that was it. Yeah, I can't imagine we have any more of this. I, I couldn't see any more immediately, so. 
All right, so we got Pizarro, gold out of 50. Richter. Mateta. Lucas Hernandez. Drager. Archival autograph, Marco Roos out of 90. Timo Werner, momentous materials, relic auto. Herman knows what's up. And momentous material of Mateta. Out of 75. So there's your first box. Let's go to box number two. Royce. Royce. Not Roos. Royce. All right, Royce. Thank you. Royce. Second box. A Sako out of 50. Anderson, Sebastian Anderson out of 25. Modeste. Bauman. The Super Cup Trophy. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh. This is out of 25. Davy Clausen. Davy Clausen. These cards are nice like, looking cards. Yeah, these yeah. cards like feel thicker They're, and heavier than museum it's, regular it's, museum. it's a little uh, different style than yeah. like museum baseball. Yeah, for sure. This one's out of 99. That's sick. Makoto. I gotta read the back. Yeah. Makoto Hasebe. 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 Makoto Hasebe. Yeah, the card stock is is different than museum baseball for sure. Yeah. And momentous materials, Oliver Bauman. So there is box number two. Okay, so. Let's go to box number three. Victor S. jumping all over our, our entire inventory of Bundesliga Museum Club, Museum Collection. We got Lucas Hernandez to 50. Oh, here we go. This one's going to be fun. Michael Gregorich. 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 Or Gregorich. But Gregorich. Not sure Gregorich. Where, I'm not sure where you put the... Gregorish, Michael Gregorish. Sure we got where you put the emphasis, but good enough. Drexler, Colossen, Schmid, and our archival autograph here is Daniel Ginsek. Out of ninety-nine. Yeah, it's like a foil version of these. Yeah. But it, like the stock is heavier though. It's almost like it, it almost feels metal, but it's not. Yeah, like kind of a plastic stuff. Yeah, Ooh, that's cool. That's Look a very that. cool card. That's a nice little uh, relic patch right there of Suat S Sardar. Sick. Twenty-five out of twenty-five. And momentous material. That's nice. That's a nice little swatch right there of Marco Royce from uh, Dortmund. So there's box number three for you, Victor. Let's check out box number four. Oh, we got a frame. Ooh, Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. You knew I was here for a reason. 
gold in there, maybe? No, no. A little foil. Gold fringe. Yeah, a little gold fringe. Just a lot of colors yeah. happening here. <laughs> well, let's check out this name here. We got Luca Waldschmidt. Red out of 25. Stefan. Jack Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Kermarch? <laughs> I don't know what that's from, but I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Oh. McKinnich? We're going to save that frame for last. Is there anybody else listening who knows that, what I'm talking about? <laughs> Tiago. You got a moment, you got a autograph oh, relic okay. of Tiago. <laughs> Tiago. Marco Richter. Let's check out this frame. Out of 25, Kareem Demirbe, gold frame auto. Kareem Demirbe, gold frame auto. That is really nice. That's super cool. Missed a base card after uh, their new Haas. There's box number four. Last box for Victor. Victor S. Came in with the five. The five pack of museum collection Bundesliga. Finally said, these are at a stupid low price. I'm just going to scoop them all up. Say what? Who's gonna be next in yeah, who's going to be next? After Victor, there's nobody in line right now. You can get your stuff ripped right now. Got some great stuff. You know, got de good good prices on pretty much everything. Just jump in right now and get yourself ripped after I'm done doing this box of uh, soccer here. Walt Schmidt. Mueller. Walt Schmidt again. Narby. Poulter. Autograph of... Sebastian Anderson out of 97. Another Royce. The third Royce in five boxes. Relic Auto. Marco Royce. Hopefully this guy is really good. And your last hit. Kalu. Solomon Kalu. Triple Relic there. So there you go, Victor. That was a very interesting road there that you took us down. Five boxes of Museum Club Bundesliga. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Victor S. That was fun. Got a whole bunch of spots in the raffle, too, for Victor by jumping in on, on that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know it's better to get a uh, to get uh, Dort to get a uh, Dortmund there, for sure. I know they're they're the uh, they're the it team. Who, who's gonna jump in? Get some lead extra edition, a one twenty nine a box. Who's gonna do some Bowman's best? Yeah, who's doing Bowman's best for sure? Two forty nine a box, still a really good price. Hey, thanks, Victor. By the way, that was epic, man. Yeah, Appreciate on, it. on a really good product, two forty nine a box, still a really good price on really what is a one of the best products that I've seen all you know throughout the uh, the twenty the twenty twenty uh, year. Jump on some Bowman's best. Who's gonna do some top stadium club chrome at one forty nine a box? Good cheap price on that. We got nothing on the table right now. We got anything coming? We got nothing coming right now. I'm gonna take a pause, and uh, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait on a uh, wait to get some product on the table, folks. Jump on in. Use those links that shop just dropped. Go find something you want to get ripped and see what kind of hits we could pull for you right here tonight on Wednesday night personal breaks. You got it, Victor. Thank you very much for that. That was a lot of fun. Be like Victor. Go find some stuff you want to get ripped and uh, jump on it. Have the uh, great low prices here at Hall of Fame. I'm going to take a pause. We'll be back when we got some product to rip.
What's up, Aaron L. Alaska. Aaron Alaska, here you go, buddy. Got us, got us some top Chrome Black for you. Let's see what you got. Check out your pack. We got Mancini. Robert. Hey, there you go. Luis Robert, rookie. These look great. And how about Hero to 99? Guess the Hero Green. Here we go. Let's check out your autograph. Going to be out of 150. Going to be Sunny Gray. One out of 150. Sunny Gray out of 150. There you go. There's your autograph. Sunny Gray. You get a uh, nice Louis Robert Pace rookie out of that as well. So there you go. Thank you, Aaron. Aaron just jumped in on some Topps Chrome Black. What are you guys going to jump in on? Again, Elite Extra Edition, new, released today, a 129 a box. You get 10 hits out of Elite Extra Edition. How about some Heritage High Number, only 100 bucks a box? We're ripping that for you for 100 bucks a box right now. Bowman's Best, I'm telling you, it's still a good deal at 249 Surprised we haven't ripped any, any Bowman's Best today. We should be ripping Bowman's Best. Topps Chrome Stadium Club at 149 a box. It's a pretty good deal as well. Or whatever you guys want to jump into, if you find a good deal on the website... You want to do five boxes of soccer, like what Victor did, or you want to do something else? Man, go find a, go go to the website and find something you really want to get ripped and see what kind of hits we can pull for you tonight. Do that right now. See what we can do for you. But you guys got to jump in. Use those links that are posted in the chat. Go to hofbc.com. We've got three more boxes of chrome black left at that price, and that's it. We've got three more boxes of chrome black left at that price. So if you want to jump in on a good price of Chrome Black, you better do it tonight. Three more boxes of Chrome Black left at that price. Jump in on that tonight. Get that done. You can do three more Chrome Blacks. That'd be fun. Good price on that. Go to, go to hofbc.com and uh, get some Chrome Black at a nice low price. Or whatever else you want to get done. Pause time right now. It's only 5.15. Let's get ripped. You buy, we rip. You watch, we ship. Let's go. We'll be back.
What's up, Wayne? Wayne Def Wayne said he was going to be next, and he is. Look at that. Prism Draft Baseball for Wayne P. Right on, buddy. Thanks for jumping back in. <coughs> and let's see what you got here in your Prism Draft. Nobody after Wayne. You can get your stuff ripped pretty quickly here. There's only five packs in this Prism Draft box. So you place your order. You're going to get your stuff ripped on, on live pretty quickly so get the hofbc.com go place go place your personal break order so we can get it live and rip for you right now here we go Solari York Martin Casey Schmidt Hudson Haskin it's out of 10 nice We got Hartman and Joe Boyle, and behind Martin is Dylan Dingler. Wax our inventory is on the website. Links are coming to check out the inventory of what we have. That uh, gold cards out of ten. Check out your second pack. Sir Video, Lodzinski, Calabrese Silver. Vukovic, Haskin, you got a gold Haskin, and you got a checkerboard Haskin. So you got two Haskin colors. Must be a Haskin box. Let's check out your autograph. It's going to be Carter Baumler. Snakeskin. Bomber snakeskin out of 15. Shop says that there's a box I'm gonna, coming up that I'm going to like, so let's let's see what it's going to be. Mitchell Palmer, Max Meyer. Weimer, Trent Palmer. It's out of 50. Keenan and Lindsley. How about Austin Martin, Fireworks. Out of 20. Austin Martin Fireworks out of 20. It's a nice looking card. This is a box that slipped down by the cracks that CJ found the other day. Oh, I was wondering if we had any yeah. more of that. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that, too. That's it. Nice. Marlene. Charlene. Uh, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised nobody found it on Monday. Yeah, I was going to ask you if we had any more select baseball. Nice. Nwogu, Beasley, Cassie. I'm a big select fan. I love select. Lang, Vogel, Veen, and Wainwright. And how about Zach Daniels fireworks out of 20? This, a, this has been a good box. A little sack and coke. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a really nice box of Prism Draft, actually. Let's check out your last pack. We're going to get into Marlene B's. Select box. Lacey Cabrera and Weimer. Carson Tucker and Alika Williams. Williams is out of 25. Radcliffe and Soleri. Your autograph. Alaric Soleri. Power Surge out of 50. So this was a very interesting box. You got Solari. You got two different fireworks autos, both out of 20. The Baumler out of 15. The two different Haskin parallels on the Thunderstruck and Dylan Dingler red. So, nice box. Fun box of Prism Draft Baseball. <laughs> Tingleberry. <laughs> All right. Marlene. I'm Marlene. No, I'm Charlene. Go chew your gum. Here's Marlene B's box. Of... Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Marlene. You got a little dust on top of the cellar there, so you know this box has been hiding somewhere in the shop. I didn't think we had any more of this, to be honest with you. I'm glad that we do. Select baseball, really fun product. Well, after this, we don't. 
Yeah, we have no more of this. And I was actually going to ask if we had any more of it. Two autos of two memorabilia cards per box on average. This pack doesn't even want to get opened. I'm a big select person. I love select products, especially select basketball, which is my favorite product all year. Select baseball looked pretty good as well. You got Garrett Cole Silver. You got a Javier Baez, Premier Level. Joey Votto, Cody Bellinger, Daza, and a decoy. Which is nice, because I need decoys. Mm -hmm. I do, I ran out. How about to start off with Jake Rogers' premier level out of 99. Jorge Polanco, Moustakis, David Fletcher, and Bobby Bradley out of... 250. There's a swatch. I'm going to start with Xander Bogarts, 25 man. Logan Webb, rookie premier. Patrick Sandoval, base. Rodriguez, base. And how about Anthony K jersey swatch? So there's your two memorabilia cards. We got Zach Gallen, Akiyama rookie, Isan Diaz Silver, Silver Prism, Select Stars Vlad, and Patrick Corbin Premier Level. Justin Turner, Jake DeGrom, here's an Eloy Jimenez Premier Prism Silver. Cody Bellinger. That's a parallel. And Azale. Ryu. Fraley. Gratterall. New Padre U Darvish Premier Level Red out of 199. And Matt Boyd. color on these is absolutely outstanding. We got Nico Goodrum. I think everybody likes some good rum. Ozuna, Palumbo rookie, Kettle Marte insert, and Stanton Premier Low. Chavez Ordorizzi, we have a tricolor Jonathan Hernandez rookie. Javier Baez and Max Kepler, Premier Love. Another decoy here. Hendricks, Adamas, Hunter Dozier, Premier Level tricolor. Decoy. Oh, how about a tie-dye? These, I think, are out of 25 or out of 20. Yu Chang tie-dye premier level rookie. Tie-dye. Like a color splash on all of that. Very cool. Yu Chang out of 20 premier level tie-dye rookie. And JT Romuto.
We got Meadows, Nico Horner rookie, Colton Wong silver, Cody Bellinger moonshots, Scherzer premier level. Our last two hits should be in these packs. Abraham Toro Red, is that a 199? Gavin Lux Premier Rookie, Hernandez, Shane Bieber, and Gary Sanchez X Fractor Relic Auto. Gary Sanchez, that's out of 99. And last pack. Hot Rookies, Darvish. I mean, not Darvish, good Lord. Hot Rookies, Dustin May. <laughs> Darvish. Yeah. Spencer Turnbull, Andres Munoz, and Michael Baez out of 199. Michael Baez, 199 autograph. So there you go. A little blast from the recent past of select baseball. The Yucheng tie-dye was your lowest number out of your colors. But love the color and select. And then you got the Baez, Gary Sanchez, Anthony Kay, and Bobby Bradley were the hits. So thank you very much for finding that on the website. And that's what I'm talking about, folks. Go to the website and search the website. You're going to find some, some hidden treasures on there, I'm telling you. That was a box. I didn't even know that was here. Shop didn't even know it was here until like Monday. Go to the website and find some hidden treasures, folks. I'm telling you, that's, that's the way to go. And you might be able to find some stuff that maybe you haven't seen in a while or just some thing, some hidden gems on there. It doesn't just have to be new product all the time. Go dig on that website and find something that you want to get ripped. And let's see what we can find in there for you. Nothing on the table right now, so we need some uh, more product in the lineup, folks. What are you guys going to jump into? What are you going to get into tonight? Every hundred you spend on your order, every hundred dollars your order is, you get to spot in the raffle. The mystery raffle, which is tonight at 7 o'clock, based off of the level of participation that we have. What happened to Pack and Box Wars? They are gone. They, they no longer exist. Temporarily, gone. Temporar temporarily on vacation. That's what happened to Pack and Box Wars. Same thing for the prize wheel and the Plinko drops. They are taking a break indefinitely. That's where they're at. So who wants to jump into some stuff? Go go take a look at that website and see what you can get into. See what you want to get into. Search deep. Don't just live on the first and second pages. Get deep into that into that website. Find something you really want to get ripped and let us rip for you. Be back when we got some product on the table. Go find something fun and interesting. Go find something cool. Dig deep, folks. Let's see what we can come up with.
Mm, can anybody hear my voice? What is up, Hall of Famers? Card Shop Eric here. Just for fun, I'm not going to be giving anything away at all, but just for fun, just for some shits and giggles right now, I'm going to throw out a couple trivia questions to whoever's listening and whoever wants to have a little fun in the group chat. Just because, I don't know, I'm sitting back there literally doing nothing right now, and I kind of feel like just doing a little bit of something. Here's the first trivia question. Which Hall of Fame umpire was nicknamed Jocko? Which Hall of Fame umpire was nicknamed Jocko? Hey, Jocko. If anybody's listening, Soup, you can guess too, since you're in the next room. Might as well, right? Yeah. Do you know that one? Jocko? Jocko. Hall of Fame umpire. Bruce Brennan's on it. Hall of Fame umpire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll give you a hint. He was a Chicago White Sox outfielder for two seasons in 1934 and 35. He became a National League umpire in 41, worked five World Series during his 25-season umpiring career. Jocko was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1974 while becoming the fourth umpire ever inducted behind Bill Clem, Tom Connolly and Billy Evans. Who was it? Ooh, JP, that is close. But when you're... Yes, JP correcting himself. There we go. Thank you, JP nailed it. Whether he looked it up or not, doesn't really matter. We're just fucking around right now. John Conlon. Jocko. Hall of Fame umpire. Do another one. JP, you get bragging rights with all the other people that aren't participating in the group chat. Scooby dooby doo doop. Scooby boop boop boo. Here's a good question. For anybody who's still got their ears on, wants to play a little trivia just for fun. Where did the Boston Red Sox play be before playing in Fenway Park? Pack Wars are taking a little bit of a hiatus right now, Wayne Pearson. We're looking to start getting into box wars, Wayne Pearson, if you know what I mean. We're going to start doing some box wars. We're stepping up the game here pretty soon. Uh, JP, also correct. Yes, the Huntington Avenue grounds is the complete answer. Bubble Pug with a close second there.
Last question before Brandon sits down to rip a couple of boxes for, it looks like, uh, is that the James M? All right, Brandon's going to rip for the James M here momentarily. But here's, a, here's another last trivia question for that. It's kind of an easy one. Who was it that hit safely 200 times in a season in each of his first 10 seasons? You know? Last trivia question here before uh, James gets his boxes ripped. This major leaguer hit safely 200 times in a season in each of his first 10 seasons. I don't know. Why don't you guys guess? Brandon's going to sit down and rip. Sonny, or who was the first person to actually type it in? Bubble Pug. Bubble Pug, be honest with us. Did you know that from heart, or did you have to look it up? I knew that from heart. Moment of truth. I knew that from heart. What's up, James M? Who's going to do uh, Holocron and WWE Finest? I knew that from heart. I knew it was Ichiro. Where if you take his... Uh, his Japanese league stats and his and his Major League Baseball stats. He is the all-time hit leader. Had more hits than Pete Rose. You got a couple Yoda cards in here. Trudgeon, Bel Boom Beaumont Kin, and a planet. Bubble Pug, you actually knew that right on. Let's see what us uh, cooking in James M. Star Wars box. We got Poe Dammer in here. Sam Wessel, Poggle the Lesser Foil. What is up? How you doing, James? Django Fett, Krennic. We got Imway. Aurora Singh. Yep, about all we can do right now, James. Survive. Survive in advance. Tarful. Grievous. Lightsaber card. We got Chewbacca there, we got Darth Maul, Malbus Foil. We got the Child, we got Dooku, Podamarin. Let's see, Chancellor Vaughn there, Maz. Gideon, Vice Admiral Holdo, Omera, Luke's, Luke's uh, lightsaber there. Yeah, Panica, Darth Maul. Darth Vader there, Padme, Snap Wesley, Ushar, Foil. Another Padme card, Finn Green, Jetser Green, or Green. Han Solo, Anakin, Luke, Boss Nos Green, Ray Foil. Last stack here, a Holocron. Darth Vader. Ooh, here we go. Your autograph. Even Peel out of 50. Even Peel out of five out of 50. Ian 
Obi-Wan Green, Palpatine Foil. Mace Windu Green, Aurelius. Chewbacca Green, C3PO Foil. We got C3PO Green, Mace Windu Green. A couple more packs of Holocron for you, James. Palpatine, Boba Fett, R2-D2, Jar Jar Foil. So you got an orange. D.O., an orange R2-D2. That orange is out of 99. All right, there you go. There is your Holocron box. Little R2, R2 orange and the even peel autograph at a 50. Check out your WWE Finest. James loves the Finest on WWE. Let's see what's happening here. We got Lynch, Eric, Tag Teams, Kent, Kent and Nazaro, and Djokovic. Right, Alistair Black autograph. Kingston, Nakamura, and Edge. James wants a Sasha Banks auto. I will try. There's Samoa Joe there after Otis and Daniel Bryan. Basler and Theory. Shawn Michaels on a gold out of 50. Heartbreak Kid. Nice looking Shawn Michaels card. That's Tucker. That's Cesaro. Mustafa Ali and DeVille. Shirai. Ray Ripley. Finest Returns Booker T. Fish. Swerve. Yeah, that's Shawn Michaels card too. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Cro Nikki Cross, King Corbin, Ricochet, Dune, Siampa. This is your first mini. I wonder if Luke Harper is in this card. I haven't seen him. He just recently passed away. That's what oh, that sucks. Yeah. I have no. I haven't. Um. I know. I know what you're talking about. No, I haven't Brody seen Lee. him. Yeah. I haven't. I don't think so. I don't. I don't remember the name. Mm. Jay Uso, Biggie, Rikishi, Nia Jax, Seth Rollins, and Manny Rose. Oh, that was Rikishi's kid, right there. The oh. First one, Jay Uso. Yeah. Jimmy and Jay, and that's uh, Rikishi's kids. Oh, right on. Twins, yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Flair. We got Dawkins and a Kevin Owens autograph. That looks gold. Nice. Yeah, it's out of 25. Check that out. 11 out of 25. Nice low numbered autograph. KO. Kevin Owens. Jeff Hardy and Shayna Baszler. 
If you want to get some finest WWE, we got them at 100 bucks a box. Kevin Owens right there. Daniel Bryan, finest returns, our truth Ricochet, our truth again. Our truth Refractor, our truth Face. He was almost 60 years old. No kidding. Liv Morgan, Bailey, and an Austin Theory blue at a 150. Bianca Belair, Andrade. Who's going to be in next after James M? Nobody in the lineup. You want to get ripped. Right now is a good time. Go get your personal break products. Elliot, Elias, Naomi, Xavier Woods, Tag Teams, Nikki Cross, Alexis Bliss, Ruben Road. And Finn Balor, Mia Yim, Refractor, Belair, The Miz, and Dakota Kai. So there you go, James. This is your finest WWE box. Austin Theory Blue. You got the KO out of 25. I love the Shawn Michaels card. Yeah. It's out of gold out of 50. And the uh, Alistair Black Refractor Auto. So there you go, James. Thanks for jumping in. Thank you, Sue. Mm hmm. Who else is going to get in? Who's going to be next? Jump in now. No wait. You order. We're going to rip it right. We're going to rip it as soon as we can process it. So no wait. Jump on in. Be a part of the raffle. Every $100 your order is gets you a spot in the raffle, the mystery raffle. We'll announce what that prize is in about probably 50 minutes. As it is 6.05. We're getting close to 7 o'clock here. We'll announce what the uh, raffle item or items are as we get closer to 7 o'clock. Let's get going. Who wants to jump on in and be a part of the fun tonight? Who wants to see if they can get? If, who wants to see if they can get some solid hits out of some products? Elite Extra Edition. We got it. One twenty nine. Bowman's Best. Have not done one box of Bowman's Best tonight. Who wants to jump in on some Bowman's Best? Even Top Stadium Club Chrome. We haven't done a box of that. Who wants to jump in on that? Let's get going, folks. Let's jump in on some products tonight. Why we still have some time? About fifty minutes left in personal breaks tonight. Go to the website, hofbc.com. Jump on in on some product. Let's go.
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more trivia just for sh S's and G's for anybody who's got their ears on right now. Here's a question, a good question I found right here. Check it out, just for fun. We're just playing for fun. Anybody who's uh, listening and wants to type an answer in just for fun, let's have some fun. Here we go. Which team never had a winning record in a season during the 2000s decade? Soup, which team never had a winning record in a season during the 2000s? I know it. Brandon thinks he knows it. I don't think, I know. Brandon knows he knows it. He's a confident individual on sports trivia. Interesting. Meanwhile, here's an old picture of uh, here's an old picture of me. Early days of the shop. That's me in the middle. My sister on the left. My brother on the lap of my great uncle. That's the one who I've told you guys about. Who was in the softball Hall of Fame. Who was in the Washington Redskins Hall of Fame and uh, football Hall of Fame and blah blah blah. No longer with us. Rest in peace, Leroy Zim. Anyways. Uh, and the correct answer going to David Royal with the Orioles on that last trivia question, by the way. <clears throat> That's sad. <laughs> the Orioles experienced four winning seasons in the 90s, their last being 97 with a 98 and 64 record. Their best season in the 2000s was 78 and 84 in 2004. So, anyone who said Orioles, you are correct. Yeah. Here's a good question. I think this one even stumped my dad. Here's another one. Anybody uh, watching? We're uh, by the way, we're just messing around, waiting for some orders to come through. It's apparently a slow night, and I guess everybody wants to go rip with uh, Rob Kardashian or whatever. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows what's going on? But God bless Mitch down there. He's having some. Killer business these days, and that's great, man. He's a good buddy of mine. All right, here's another question. Who is the first player to hit 50 home runs and 50 doubles in a season? Go. Who was the first player to be in that 50-50 club? 50-50. 50 home runs and 50 doubles in a season. That's two guesses. One of them may be right. Bonus points if you get it without uh, looking it up. Bon fake bonus points. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that's some. Fifty This person hit fifty-two home runs and fifty doubles in nineteen ninety-five. I won't tell you the team because I'll probably give it away. Uh, none of those answers on screen are correct. In what year are you said? None of those answers on screen are correct, but I appreciate you guys throwing up guesses because that means you're just playing from memory, which is cool. Love that. No, Sonny, it's not Cecil. Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> If I give you the team, it'll probably give it away. You didn't, get, you didn't say a year. I didn't say the team. Oh, a year? I didn't say the year. It was 95. 95. Yeah. He had 52 homers and 50 doubles. You guys want the team yet? No. You're going to probably kick yourself. He's a beast for sure. Not Conseco, is it? No. Oh, he was in the same night. Bubble Pug wants the team. The team was the Cleveland Indians. Tell me? No. Robbie Alomar, Albert Bell, David Justice. Well, you just said one of them. One of those names was correct. If anyone's heard what Soup was saying out loud, one of those names was correct. Chipper1081, you are correct. Albert Bell. 
hit 52 homers and 50 doubles while playing for the Indians in 95. Neither Hank Aaron nor Palmero ever hit 50 home runs in a season. The most doubles Babe Ruth ever hit in a, in a year was 45, but he hit more than 50 home runs four times. Interesting. There you go. The bad guy of the MLB. So Chipper1081 gets bragging rights on that answer. Nice job there. And we're here to rip product too, by the way, folks. We are here to rip product. You were 100% right about giving the team away. In the year, that was a good team. <clears throat> That's all right. Got him. Got him. It's like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Wow, I, I, if I'm reading this correctly, here's how this trivia question goes. Which Philadelphia Phillies Hall of Fame pitcher set a record for giving up the most home runs in a career. Ooh. He also died in 2010. Hmm. Kind of rephrase the question a little bit to make it more clear, but <laughs> there's a bunch of clues in there. Philadelphia Phillies Hall of Fame pitcher set a career record for giving up the most home runs in a career Died in 2010. David Royer, no. <laughs> Brandon H, obviously no. <laughs> um, it's a it's a pretty specific question. That's a little bit, little bit obviously a little more focused. Kind of should maybe know the Phillies, but I think knowing a stat like. Most given up home runs in a career is yeah. kind of a cool thing to know in general. I kind of wish Crosby was here to see how good he'd do with some of these. Is it Robin Roberts? Ooh, say it louder, Soup. Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts. Soup from the left-hand side over here. Roberts pitched for 19 seasons and retired in 1966 with his record of dishing up 505 home runs. <laughs> He's on fire. Died in May of 2010. He was inducted in the Hall of Fame in 1976. Jamie Moyer, ironically of the Phillies, in 2010 dished up his 506th home run pitch the following month to break Robin's record. So there you go. Any orders coming in, B? Nope. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's a, here's a good question. I'm actually going to rephrase it a little bit because I think the original question is a little too easy. Well, I'll ask you the original question, and we'll, we'll go from there. Here we go. The Chicago Cubs franchise retired their first jersey number in 1982 in whose honor? Let's start with that question. This could be a two-part question. Cool. Let's start with that. The Chicago, 1982 was, was when the Chicago Cubs retired their first jersey number. Whose number was it? Sunny, bonus points. Well, this is kind of like 1A or 1B, if you will. Bonus points. Ernie Banks is correct. What number was that? Do you know what number they retired? 
What number was Banks that they retired? Pug, correct, with 14. Now, here's the, the part two of the question that I was going to look for. So the Cubs retired their first number in 82. It was Ernie Banks' number 14. The second number that the Cubs retired was in 1987. Whose number was that? Let's see if you can get that. Bubble Pug. Bubble Pug, I believe, is correct. Yeah, Billy Williams was the second Cub to have his number retired by the franchise. So I think that's kind of interesting. I feel like, you know, haven't they been retiring? Haven't other franchises been retiring jerseys earlier than, like, the 80s, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I mean, 80s seems kind of late for them to retire numbers of players that... Uh, well, I mean... I mean, yeah. what, what years did, did Ernie what, Banks they, play? Yeah, he played, played in the 50s, right? Yeah, 50s and so. 60s. What was his, his rookie card? Was probably 55 or something? I don't know, 50, 57? I really don't remember. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, Here's a fun question Soup might like. This, it's kind of a long question, so just listen up. We're just playing, if you're just joining us right now, we're just playing trivia for fun. If you want to play, type your answer in the group chat. Just go by memory if you can. We're just having fun going by memory and seeing people know answers to fun trivia questions. We're here to rip cards. We'd love to open some products for people. Uh, that's really what our business is all about. Um, and believe me, with this second wave of COVID, folks, and our front of our brick and mortars closed again just to help protect ourselves and our family members because it's kind of hitting closer to home this time for us, at least in our part of town, um, we could use your support. So please consider jumping in to a personal break box before the uh, half hour is over. Or before the hour is over, I should say. We'll be closing it up here at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific. While you're considering that, you can also listen to a trivia question. This Detroit Tiger was part of a brawl with only four games left in the 2008 season. He was ejected and suspended for the rest of the season, leaving him stuck at 499 career home runs. Who was this player? <laughs> you know Rodriguez? No. No. It's kind of a cool thing. That's kind of an interesting little happening yeah. there, right? A catcher? For the 2008 season. I didn't say it was a catcher, did I? No. Oh. The Detroit Tigers. I'm sorry. Yeah, Tiger. Tiger. I think that's a fun question. Oh, I know who it is. Okay, don't say it. Don't say it. I want to see if anyone in the chat... Soup thinks he knows, but I'm I'm making him be quiet. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna say the question again, just for anybody who wants to say it again. This Detroit Tiger was part of a brawl with only four games left in the 2008 season. He was ejected after that brawl and suspended for the rest of that season, leaving him stuck on 499 career home runs. Meaning, had he not got ejected, he probably would have. Hit 500 career home runs that season. But he, he, he didn't. He was stuck on 499 at the end of the 2008 season. What was the player's name? Does anybody know before Soup gives it away? 
I think maybe Soup do the uh, do that in the background. See if <laughs> see if people can get it by the batting stance without hitting me in the head too. You might want to bend down. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of something like that. I want to say yeah. Anybody get it by that batting stance? Soup's using a broom handle. <laughs> Brandon H., thank you for guessing. No, I like where your head's at, kind of, though. But I would say it's slightly more po popular. And David Royer, yes, <laughs> David Royer nailed it there. David Royer, ding, 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 ding. The others were already retired for at least five seasons. Gary Sheffield initiated the fight, then the brawl against the Cleveland Indians after he felt the pitcher threw too close to him. Sheffield did not come back in 2009, but as a Met to hit 10 home runs, giving him 509 in his career before he retired. <laughs> so it's about uh, 6.30 here, where we're at here, folks. 6.30 p.m., which means if you're on the East Coast, it's probably closer to 9.30 p.m., but uh, we would love your support this evening. I love to do trivia. I could do trivia all night long, but we would love for people to jump in. So I'm going to go hang out in the back and wrap with my boys here, kind of tidy up the shop in the back room. And if nothing's going on, by the time 7 o'clock rolls around, we'll raffle and get out of here. But we would love to rip for you guys. You know where to find the products, hofbc.com. And uh, we'll be back to either rip or raffle.
minutes. Hey, everybody, 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes last call. Get your orders in before 6.55. Otherwise, we're going to raffle at 6.55. 15 minutes last call, folks. Get your orders in before 6.55. 15 minute last call. Then we're going to raffle. And we'll tell you what the uh, raffle items will be for tonight. 15 minutes.
Look, less than 10 minutes to go, folks. More like seven. Right about seven or eight minutes. Last call, seven or eight minutes to go. 6.55 is the time that you need to uh, get your orders in. Who's going to be the last one in today? Uh, who's going to be the last one to wrap us up? About seven minutes, folks. Nice. Here, we got a Heritage High number for Jamie G coming that we're going to get into right now. That might be our last. That might be our last uh, rip of the night. We'll see. We will see. All right. Thank you, Jamie G, with a Heritage High number. Last Heritage High number with a hot box. We'll see what this one's going to bring us. About six minutes, folks. Six minutes. Probably got about the time I'm done ripping this box. So get your orders in now if you want to be a part of tonight's festivities. Here's your uh, 50th anniversary 1971 buyback. Stamped buyback. Bob Barton. Original 1971 Tops card. Bob Barton, come on down. All right, here we go. Heritage high number for Jamie G. Not a hot box. Not a hot box on this one. Brad Week. Interesting. Gratterall rookie. Five minutes to go, folks. Five minutes. Five minutes. Reggie McLean, rookie award winners, Trout. Five minutes. Probably pretty much to the end of me ripping this box. You gotta have your orders in. We got a clubhouse collection. How about Mookie Betts on a bat relic? That's nice. It's a nice looking bat relic, the clubhouse collection. Mookie Betts. Seen some of these boxes with an auto and a, and a relic in them. See what else is hanging out in this box. Happy return pool hosts. Got four minutes. Pretty much to the time. As soon as I'm done ripping this box, if there are no orders in, we're probably going to raffle. Yeah. Kyle Lewis, rookie performers. <laughs> Kyle Lewis, rookie performer there. Brian O'Grady, Verdugo, we got Breen on the rookie. Award winner Strasburg. Yep, you guys got to the end of this rip to get orders in. If I got orders on the table, I'll keep ripping. If not, then we're going to raffle. So get your orders in right now. Do you promise to? Oh, thank you. And Francisco Cervelli Chrome. Nothing but the fuck. That Cervelli's out of triple nine.
Noose rookie, Fraley. Tyrone Taylor, now and then. Um, Pete Alonzo, Tinoco rookie. A lot of rookies in that pack. Kim rookie performers. Bertle rookie. Uh, Verlander. We got Chad Wallach there. Dobnik rookie. Well, what do we have here? Do we have another relic? We got two relics in this. Malik Smith. Bonus hit box. There you go. That's why you open up all the packs. Yamaguchi rookie, but you got a bonus hit. You got a Mookie Bet Bat relic and a Malik Smith jersey. Very nice. Luis Urias there. Rookie performers Yamaguchi. Jalen Davis rookie. Now and then Bat Flip King, Robel Garcia, Tim Lopes. Porcello. We got Robert Duggar, Edwin Rios, World Series highlights. A couple more packs for Jamie, and then we're, it looks like we're going to wrap. Keon Wong there, Ivan Nova, Yonder Mendez. Galvis Lamont Wade Jr. There's Luis Robert. And last pack. Here we go. We got rookies of the year. And there is your box. Got a bonus hit box there, Jamie. You got the uh, Betts and the Malik Smith relics. You have the Betts as a bat relic. That's cool. You got a Francisco Cervelli Chrome. got a Kyle Lewis, rookie performers, and a Robert Base. So there you go. All right. Give me a second here. All right, give me a minute to set up the raffle here. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Elite Extra Edition is the first raffle prize. That'll be prize number one. Prize number two is going to be Star Wars Holocron. Oh, I see, Brandon, because you have eyes on the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Prize number three, Stadium Club Chrome. And prize number four, Update Hobby Box. So we got four nice raffle prizes tonight, thanks to your participation. We got four prizes in the raffle. Really appreciate that. Bubble Pug, thank you very much. Good night. 
Four raffle prizes in the lineup tonight. Thanks to your participation. We greatly appreciate it. Let's see who goes where. Elite 1, Star Wars 2, Stadium Club Chrome 3, Update Hobby 4. To the randomizer screen we go. There's our list of participants all the way to the top. And let's go to the dice roller. Rolling two dice. It's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. Victor S. gets the first three, and Tim gets number four. Victor S. came in with some Bundesliga, some Bundesliga soccer heat. Gets the first three raffle spots tonight. So you get Victor, you get the Elite Extra Edition, you get the Star Wars box, and the Stadium Club Chrome. And Tim M., you're going to get the Update Hobby. There you go. Boom. Stickers are on the boxes. Congratulations to Victor and Tim. All right, folks, that's it for us on a Wednesday night. Thank you very much for your participation and being a part of Personal Breaks. We will see you all on Friday for Friday Night Personal Breaks. For Shop, for Soup, I'm Hot Hands Fletcher. Thanks very much. See you all on Friday. Peace.